Hello and welcome to Phantom on a Budget, Halloween season 2011. Today I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about some of the wig stuff that I do. I know there have been some comments and questions about it. Uh, of course I can't bother to see it, but I had to show off the cape and the hat too at some point. So what I'm going to go do is go get the second wig that I have in the making, talk a little bit about how the wig ventilation is done, and give you guys kind of an inside look at uh, really how to put a wig together. So enjoy. Alright, so as I alluded to before, I've had a lot of people asking me questions about the Valentino wig, which, close up, in case you wanted to, I haven't seen it already on the website. Again, it's a full lace wig, so really the only components are uh, really fine wig lace, which is right here. I don't know if you can really see it or not, but it's a, a tool type material, only it's, it's a lot stronger than tool. I've seen people try to do... Uh, put a, install a, a lace on the front of their uh, costume grade wigs for cosplay and that kind of thing. And they use tool, it can kind of work, but as you're venting the hair on it, if you pull too hard, you're going to pull the tool and break it, or at least distort it. So I, I say avoid tool at all costs. If you're going to put the time in, uh, spend the money, get the good stuff, it's not going to break, and, uh, and do it right. So. Yeah, base of uh, a wig lace is the whole thing, um, and it's held together, a couple pieces of wig lace put together on a head block, and it's, uh, you can sew it on together to various pieces, or just kind of vent hair on there. And to really learn how to do this, the best way, honestly, is, is to go on YouTube, there's a great, I'll find the link, I'll find the link, and I'll put it in the description of this video, because I can't, I don't know what it's called, but it's a, uh, I think it's a, how it's made lace wigs from a TV show and it's uh, like a five minute clip and it goes through one guy making a wig for either like a stage or a film and it's great because it takes it from start to beginning and uh, it really kind of gives you an idea of the kind of work that's involved with these things and it's kind of ridiculous so uh, this one took me again about two two and a half months off and on I worked on it for an hour here and there um, I'm not looking forward to doing it again <laughs> But I did. Uh, this one, for being my first wig, it's not bad. Uh, here's the things though. I didn't get the hairline quite right. So it, it fits, but it, it, you have to sort of finagle it a little bit. Um, so I want to improve the hairline and I want to put uh, a little bit thicker hair cover on there. Uh, this one's a little bit thin. So I have to be very careful when I'm uh, dressing the wig to make sure that I don't have any spots that are uncovered by the hair because there's just not enough of it. So I did decide to do another wig. I'm a little bit of a glutton for punishment, but here's the thing. <laughs> Eventually it will be done, and I don't have to do any more. So here's uh, Valentino version 2. Uh, obviously not very far along. Uh, but you can get a, an idea. And what you're seeing here, that white stuff, is what we call a head cast. And to do one of these, uh, you want to put your hair up as you would have it under the wig. So mine is, is wrapped. I don't do pin curls or anything. I wrap it around my head, and then I put a wig cap over it, and I pin it. And I do that because, really, again, this wig is so low pro profile that if you have any uh, pin curl type of stuff, it's going gonna, it's gonna to show under the wig. So, hair wrap works really well for me, and also I can't do my hair in anyway. So, you know, hair wrapping is just enough. <laughs> I can't handle anything more complicated than that. So, uh, And from there, you basically you put saran wrap over your head. And then you use packing tape is best. I use scotch tape. Pan the butt, but it worked. So I guess if you're really low on resources. But packing tape works wider uh, and still a lot clearer than scotch tape. It's the way to go. So you basically you do the saran wrap and then you start taping from to back, side to side. Uh, it'll create a cast of your head. And while you're doing that, you want to make sure that you get you mark your hairline. So that's what you see there kind of in the Sharpie. Uh, that's my hairline, and what you do from there is stick it on a, on a head block, stuff it with some tissue, some tissue paper, to fill the head cast out, um, and then go from there. And then you can pin your, your wig lace on top of that. Uh, you can see I kind of sewed it for re reinforcement because I need these things to last a while. And then you just start from the bottom of the back of the neck and work your way forward and try to give you guys a, a look at what this 
but you can kind of see some of the detail there. Uh, knotted, I take three at a time, three hairs at a time, knot them together here. Usually works pretty well. They break every now and then, but you just have to be careful about, you know, uh, how hard you pull. And then it's best how it is pretty much all the way up to the front. And when you get up to the front, what you're going to do is go from three hairs to two hairs and then to the very, very front, uh, do one hair at a time. And that's the whole detail. You really want it to look blended and natural. So it's a little bit painful and tedious, but it does uh, come up with a fairly good result in the end. And I'm happy with this wig, but I'm hoping that this one's going to be even better. So. So that's the head block, the head cast. I'll look at how kind of it's structured right now. Uh, kind of go through a couple of other things. This is your venting needle right here. Uh, it really, it's teeny tiny, and you have different sizes available. So uh, this is a three. No, just kidding. This is a five. Uh, it's designed to take five hours of time. So your ones are going to only be for extreme detail work taking one hair at a time. Uh, you can use a larger number for a smaller amount of hair. That's no problem. I got a five because it was sort of the middle of the road. I knew I wasn't going to take five hairs at a time, uh, but it was good for one and three. So, venting needle. Also be careful with these because uh, if you're not paying attention, you, you can stab yourself. <laughs> and unfortunately, I did that one day I wasn't paying attention and I, I basically put it through the end of my finger. Of course, it's a hook. But you can't see, I couldn't even take a picture to be de that detailed, there's a hook on the end of this thing. And uh, you, once you get it through your finger, apparently you can't yank it back out. So I had to perform minor surgery to remove the needle from my hand. That was a great day. And for hair, cover up the advertising here. Hair, you can use synthetic hair if you want to. I don't really know how it works as far as venting goes. Uh, I would assume it might be a little bit stiffer than, than human hair. I suggest going human hair, honestly. It's, it's, I thought I would be a little bit creeped out by it, but it's not that bad. You buy it in bulk, kind of like that. Um, this is number two brown. It's a brown, not black color for the Phantom's wig. So get long enough that you can double it over on itself, and it's still going to be long enough. Uh, but really, uh, that is called Indian Remy hair, and Indian Remy is, again, middle of the road as far as uh, bulk human hair quality goes. Uh, Asian hair tends to be a little bit cheaper. Uh, most expensive type of hair is European. Uh, very high quality is what most of the professional wig makers use, especially for something like Phantom, the stage production. Uh, if you have the cash to spend, absolutely go for it. But if you don't, like me, and you're a little bit cheap, like me, <laughs> uh, Indian Remy is probably a good bet. It's a nice, it's a finer quality hair, not probably as fine as European, but still very easy to work with. And the funny thing is, it's actually pretty durable. This wig that I'm wearing, uh, I wore it to Fans Week 2009, and I haven't worn it since. So it actually sat for two years in storage, uh, dressed and set from 2009. And I was uh, kind of dreading bringing it out for this. I didn't know what was going to happen. But it actually it came back fine. So you just, and you, you know, you wash and dress a wig like you would wash and dress your hair if you had human hair wig. Uh, I just stick mine under the, uh, the faucet and very gently wash it with some nice gentle shampoo, rinse it. And then set it with, um, I use hair cement, but then again, any kind of setting product is fine. So, not complicated with the, uh, with the care. You want to be gentle with them. Lace wigs are not something that you can toss around like a, a heavier duty, lower cost costume wig is. Uh, honestly, if you're going to go through the, uh, the pain of producing one of these yourself, and it's very rewarding, I won't lie, but... Uh, it's, it's, it takes a long time. So if you're going to do that, you know, at least treat it right. It will last a long time. I made this one in 2008. It's three years old now. Um, is it 2008 or 2007? Oh, it, it's older. It's been around for a few years. And, and it, again, I just spent two years in storage not doing anything and it bounced back just fine. So, 
again, if you have any questions for the wig making, uh, let me know. I'm not an expert. I get by. Again, I'll find that link for you with the uh, the wig making demonstration. It kind of gives you an idea of what an art it is. I have nothing but respect for these guys. It's so tedious, but it the results that you can get are, are really incredible. So, again, head cast, head block, wig lace, venting needle, and a type of hair. And ta-da, you got a wig. So if you have any questions, let me know. Again, comment on the video or send me an email at phantom at phantomonobudge.com and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And from there, happy Halloween everybody, enjoy the season, and stay safe.